Hi, welcome back. The problem today is about a equation that x over ln x equal to sin x plus cos x. Now let's get started. We have x over ln x equal to sin x plus cos x, and the condition. The domain of x in this problem is x have to be greater than zero and l and x have to be different from zero. Then x greater than zero and x different from one. That is the domain of x in this problem with x is the real numbers. So. For this equation, it looks like very difficult because there are uh, combined many functions like the trigonometry function, the logarithmic function, and also the exception with x. So we can do one by one. On the left hand, on the right hand side, we have psi x plus cos x equal to square root of 2 multiplied by cos of x minus pi over 4. That's a very familiar expression in the trigonometry problem. So, this means the expression on the left hand side would smaller than square root of 2 because cosine cosine of x minus x over minus pi over 4 is smaller or equal to 1 then the maximum values of psi x plus cosine x would be smaller or equal to square root of 2 then now we will prove the left hand side this one will greater than square root of 2. To prove this greater than square root of 2, we put the fx equal to x over ln x and we will find the minimum value of fx. The derivative of fx would be ln x minus 1 over ln x square. Obviously, when the derivative of fx equal to 0, then x equal to earlier constant. Then we create the tables to see the increase and the decreasing properties of the fx. This is x and this is e. This is the derivative of fx. This is fx. And when this is uh, e, that the derivative of fx equal to 0. And this will be equal to e. And on the left, it will be the negative. And on the right, it is the positive. And you see. The minimum of fx would be f e that equal to e. Then obviously x over ln x greater equal to e, and e is greater than square root of two. Of course, x over ln x greater than psi x plus cos x with any x is the real numbers so the equality is impossible in this case so finally the answer for this problem is x is we have no root for this equation it means we have no solution So, back to the problem. Why I 
can know that the left hand side is greater than square root 2 and the right hand side is smaller than um, square root 2. Of course, when you see this kind of problem, obviously the left hand side and the right hand side is very different from the function, then you can treat them side by side. On the left hand side, you can use the geometry method, then you group that into one uh, geometry function like this as cosine x. Then you have the maximum value of the right hand side. And on the left hand side, you can use the the um, graph to try the, um, the value on the graph and then you see that the small small let value of this would be greater than square root of 2 after that you find a way to, to check the minimum value of the left hand side in this case I use the uh, method with the um, decreasing and increasing function. Then finally, you will receive the result as no solution. That's all. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.